The last two questions here are on the tools and techniques. So does studying really pay off? Well, we want to collect data on how long a student studied for the exams and also what their score was on the exams. So remember here, how long did you study for the exam is answered in a quantitative way. What score did you get is answered in a quantitative way. We have quantitative quantitative. This would be simple linear regression. If we were doing confidence interval for the difference between two population means, we could say, is there a difference between guys and girls and the grades they make on tests? Is there a difference between juniors and sophomores in the class? That would be a confidence interval between two population means. A decision tree would take a whole bunch of variables like, what is the best way to predict someone's grade in a class? We collect 20 different variables and we want to know the relationships between them and how we can explain the grades someone makes in a class. Decision trees handle a lot of variables, a lot of X's, and try to explain some Y. If we did a hypothesis test for a population mean, the question could be like, we want to know if this year's test had a lower average than last year's test. Last year's test had an 85, and the sample mean for this year's test was an 83.9. We could go on and write a whole question on that, but if you notice, I'm just testing a mean. And something for box plots would be like, we want to understand the average price of a product on Amazon from different sellers. So we need a way to visualize it. And a box plot would do that. Also a histogram would, because we're just trying to visualize a univariate quantitative variable. For the next question, we are looking at five different large grocery stores, and they want to collect data on the ethnicity of the person they hire. The specific questions being asked are, what store do you work at, and what is your ethnicity? So when we look at this right here, it is two categorical questions. So this gives us count data because we would say you work at store one and your ethnicity is blank. Since it's two categorical questions, we would actually be doing a chi-squared test of independence. If the question said they wanted to visualize the data, then it could be something like a mosaic plot or a contingency table. But if they wanted to do some sort of test or to see if they were fairly similar, they could do the chi-squared test of independence to see if the store and the ethnicity are independent of each other or if they are not independent. And we also have simple linear regression on here, which would need two quantitative variables, like does the more you pay for an item increase your satisfaction? We could randomly collect data on how much people have paid for an item and then collect data on their satisfaction. A histogram would be something like our previous answer with a box plot. What is the average price of an item on Amazon? And we look across all different sellers and we collect data and we want to visualize it. Pretty much have the same thing except for a Pearson correlation coefficient and that goes along with simple linear regression. We could say is the trend between studying and grade a positive linear relationship? How could someone investigate this? And they could do it with a Pearson correlation coefficient to talk about if it is a positive linear relationship because Pearson's correlation measures the linear correlation between two quantitative variables, specifically telling us that if it is positive, negative, or non-existent, and it must be linear if it is Pearson. 